Good morning, CBBC Church family. Good morning, YouTubers, Facebookers, all you in the online world. I am Pastor Gabriel Valenzuela. Welcome to my daily encouragement inside my office space. I've uh, changed it up a little bit. was normally doing these out of my truck. Uh, but since I got to be in my office all morning, uh, this is where I will do it. I am on break right now. So I'm going to take an opportunity to go ahead and bring you the Word of God. I was doing my devotions this morning before I uh, clocked in, logged into work. And God just gave me some good stuff in Proverbs 25. I want to give you my daily uh, COVID-19 positive for the day. Uh, I just found out that I will be having a three-day weekend for the 4th of July weekend. I am excited about that. So thankful for that. So thankful for my new job. Um, praise the Lord for that. And so if you have a COVID-19 positive for the day, make sure you comment that in the comment section below. Keep it positive. No negativity. This is a negativity free zone. So praise God for that. Uh, we want to be able to encourage each other. We don't want to discourage as brethren. We have so much negativity out there in the world that we don't need more, especially from the brethren. Amen. So praise God for that. Make sure you comment your COVID-19 positive for the day. I also want to give a shout out. I want to give a, a special happy birthday to my sister Angelica. I hope that you have a wonderful day today. Uh, praise God for you and your family and uh, just enjoy your day. Happy birthday. Angelique, um, I want to give you something out of the Word of God uh, in Proverbs chapter uh, 25 and verse number 11. The Bible says here, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in pictures of silver. So when I look at this verse, uh, it stood out to me because it was talking about the words that we speak and it was talking about the things that we say and we really don't realize how much bearing our advice will have on somebody. Uh, but if you think about it, your advice matters to someone in your life. There's someone that calls you. There's someone that reaches out to you that seeks your advice because they trust you. They deem you as trustworthy and they feel like they can get good advice from you. But I want to encourage you today that if you're going to give advice, make sure you give godly advice, not fleshly advice. In other words, not advice that is in your flesh, that is something that you feel, that is something that you believe uh, in your heart because of who you are. Uh, uh, you, you don't want to give somebody some advice just because you are emotional, uh, but you want to give somebody godly advice. You want to give them advice from the Word of God. Let me encourage you that if you can't seek advice from someone because you don't have anybody who's going to provide you wisdom, you can always go to the Word of God and the Word of God will give you uh, will give you fitly spoken advice or word. And it will be like, uh, so fitly spoken advice is timely advice or a word spoken in the right circumstances. You ever had that when you felt like um, you needed some advice and you went to somebody and they gave you good wisdom, good godly advice. And you were like, man, that was perfect timing. That was a perfect advice for the perfect moment. That's because those people sought out the Lord and they were able to give you some good godly wisdom. But you ever had those moments when you've asked for advice and you just felt something in your gut and you said, you know what, that doesn't sound like the right advice for the right time. But it's because those people are not giving you godly advice or wisdom they're not giving you timely advice they're giving you advice from their own emotions or their own feelings and so the bible says that is like uh, apples of gold in pictures of silver and so uh your words matter godly advice will be timely and it will be like golden apples and baskets of silver and that's what it'll look like your advice matters to people so make sure when you give it to them that you give them good positive godly advice okay don't give people negative advice. Don't agree with their negativity because they already have that negativity inside of them. Instead, give them positive advice, give them godly advice, and give them advice from the Word of God. Amen. Praise God for that. I pray that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I'm going to have a good day. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, CBC Albuquerque. Don't forget to like and share us on our Facebook page, Community BB Church. Have an incredibly blessed day. God bless you. Goodbye.